I'm scared to speak English. I'm afraid that others will make fun of me when I make mistakes while speaking. We have all heard people speaking like this. Are you fluent in English? What holds you back from improving your English skills? Let's answer these questions. There are several reasons why your English isn't improving despite your hard work and passion. However, being fluent in the English language is always an asset in your personal and professional lives. Speaking fluent English is not easy. Like learning any other language, you need patience and practice to learn English. Continuous usage and learning will help you excel. Today, there are several ways you can learn a language. From English speaking applications on your mobile phone to English reading and writing clubs, the chances and opportunities to learn English are plenty. Here we will check out the most common excuses and obstacles that prevent you from learning English. Number one, you don't spend enough time. I don't have enough time. Isn't this the most commonly heard excuse? Today, you can learn English at home, and not having time is a lie. Several mobile applications and online classes are there to help you out whether you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced English learner. You can start with newspapers, books, podcasts, and YouTube videos, which are the simplest methods to learn the language. If you look hard enough, you will surely find several resources that will help you learn English without payment. Spend at least 20, oh, 30 minutes a day for English learning. Remember, your objective should be effective spending and learning rather than merely spending time. Number minus two, you don't apply English to real life situations. Spending time reading or learning English is not enough. Use what you've learned. Apply English to real-life situations. Whatever you have learned, be it words, phrases, or sentences, try using it while speaking. Maintaining your dictionary and collecting unfamiliar words is one method to improve your vocabulary. But again, do not forget to use them. Number three, you spend too much time on grammar. Grammar is undoubtedly an important factor in any language. Knowing grammar rules can help you speak better English. But when you start speaking English, do not bother too much about grammar rules. Certainly, there are rules about speaking, reading, and writing a language. But if you are a beginner, start by using words. Words to phrases and sentences, and then think about the grammar rules. Number four. You're afraid of making mistakes. Are you afraid of making mistakes? If yes, learning a language will take more time than usual. Do not fear the mistakes that you might make while speaking. Unless you speak, you won't learn. Start speaking to your friends and non-native English speakers initially to build up your confidence. Use small sentences and talk about things that happen in your everyday life. The best way to boost your confidence is to talk to yourself in English. Try it. Number five, you lack a good plan for learning English. If you wish to learn English, you must have a good plan or method. Create your learning methods according to the level of English learner you are. Find out the area in which you lack the language skills. Be it speaking, writing, or grammar, Discover the area which you have to improve and plan accordingly. Ask for advice and tips to improve your spoken English from tutors or trainers if you cannot help yourself. Proper guidance will help you grasp the language faster. Number six, you're not consistent in studying. Believe it, you cannot excel in a language if you aren't consistent in using it. Keep up your motivation every day. Do exercises and speak every day. Motivation comes and goes, but you should help yourself to be consistent. From practicing to using language in your day-to-day -day life, be consistent. Make it a habit and keep practicing. Number seven, you think you don't need English. 
You might not be working or studying in an English-speaking country, but that doesn't mean that you do not require good English skills. Today, the English language is widely used in non-English-speaking countries. From schools to job prospects and the entertainment sector, the English language has become significant. Get access to world-class books, music, and films with good English. Good communication skills are an asset to your job prospects and career growth. Number 8. You rely on your native language. How do you think you can improve your English language fluency if you use your native language more? Also, do not try to convert the same pattern and style of your native language to English. That's not how it works. The more you practice, the more you will learn, and the faster you will acquire English fluency skills. Let's sum up. Start with creating a timetable and a plan to learn English. Put aside your fears and excuses. Start working today at your own pace. Ensure you use and interact in English every day. Make a habit of learning new words and phrases. After all, everybody can learn a language, it's just that it depends on the person and time. No matter if you make mistakes, keep trying and speak English. If you found this article helpful in understanding the concept of learning English, I appeal to you to share this video as much as possible among those who may benefit from this kind of motivation. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video. Thank you.